Okay, so it says three here, it says four there. This is model number. I have no idea why these are disconnected. Um, but primary will engage the compressor. I'm not sure about working on the secondary. I have a call in to carrier tech support. They're supposed to call me back. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I figured that board shot. 24 volts there. That primary will engage the compressor. This is the blower that's engaged as it's turned on. So it should be coming on, but it's not. And then when I engage that primary, the fans don't come on. So that's a little concerning to me as well. So yeah, here's... here's So the nearest certified technician for these things is apparently like five hours away. So they sent me up here to try and figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but did you check the contactor? The, yeah, the, con the coils good on it? Contactors are good. They're not getting 24 volts. So the contact, but you said the 24 volt side was good. Well, it's because 24 volts come out of the transformer. Okay. It's coming out of the transformer. Yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean the whole thing is getting 24 volts. I understand. So, you didn't have 24 volts at your contactor? Correct. Okay, so, um, at your defrost board, you're going to need to, uh, on the P3 plug, okay. you're going to need to, there should be a 10-pin connector. Okay. It'll be like 1 through 10, and that pin number 10 is, um, so you can, so anywhere on that, you'll have like four brown wires, on there okay on the, any one of those brown wires you're going to use that as your common okay and when you're calling for cooling um uh, you have uh oh you have two stages correct two compressors yes okay so if you look on your wiring diagram um i believe it's uh might be pin 10 or pin 12 it's a black wire it'll um that's actually going to go through a freeze so on the defrost board you go from the defrost board, from your red wire, it goes through the circuitry, and it comes out that pin number 10, or your circuit 1 or circuit 2, if you're calling for both of them. Um, you need to find where that is, and you can go common off those off that same plug, and go to like the pin 10, and you should have 24 volts there. If you don't, then you have a bad defrost board. Okay. So, so if you peel that defrost board off... Um, you can look at the back and see if it's burnt. Right. So the defrost board, is that the one on the right or the left as I'm facing the compressor area? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, one of them's going to be your main board. Your big board is going to be your main board. And it'll be like a... Uh, the defrost board is going to be uh, smaller and kind of longer. Well, it should only have three plugs. Your main, your main board is going to have uh, a whole bunch of stuff plugged into it. Okay. So the board that has the uh, connections for the thermostat... That's the main board. That's the main board. So then, then that would be the other one uh, that would be the defrost board? Yep. Okay. Okay, um, so... Two, sometimes the, uh, the defrost thermostat switch, you'll need to test that. Um, unplug, you know, with the power off, unplug it, um, undo the wires, and, and check it from wire to ground on both ends of the wire and see if it makes continuity. If it makes continuity to ground, then that switch is bad. Okay. Um, two, um, you, you can, you know, disconnect that from the circuit and then test your, uh, with the power off, you go to that pin number 10. Okay. Um, and you can actually, uh, hit that to ground, see if it tones out, uh, with it unplugged, that wire harness. If okay. You, if you do, if it tones out, then that wire is grounded out. Okay. So usually... Defrost board, it could be a, a wire that's sorted out or that defrost thermostat. So that it'll, it will kind of get weak and it'll pop inside. Where, the where's the, the casing well, and it'll short it out. Where's the de defrost thermostat located? It's on the coil. Okay. So that two black wires going to it. It'll be stuck on the side of a loop of a coil. Okay. So it's, it's either the, now, uh. Now, did you 
did you happen to change out a thermostat at all or a main board? I did not. Okay. But, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's basically all you can check out there. Is there any chance you could send me an email with that troubleshooting you just talked about? No. Okay. No, I'm not typing all that out. I just told you. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, where, uh, where's your job site at? Uh, it's Dollar Tree in Fortuna, California. In Fortuna? Yeah, it's like up by Eureka. It's like five hours from Sacramento. Sheesh. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, when's the next time you're going there? Um, yeah, I think probably tomorrow again. Yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna have to, um, you can try to give me a call tomorrow. Okay. Um, and then give me a, it's, it's five hours away, huh? Right. How far away are you right now? Uh, from the location? I'm only like 15 minutes right now. Sorry, two, four, you, you, you live in Sacramento? Oh, no, no. I, I'm just saying, it's, this is, the location is five hours from Sacramento. I, I'm in Eureka. Oh, you're in Eureka. Oh, okay. Well, you can go up there and troubleshoot it if you, if you got enough up in you. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go back tomorrow and give it a try. Okay. Is there anywhere I can uh, uh, get this information online? No. Okay. No, that would be too easy. Okay. This all is, right. This is all uh, school of hard docs in all my right. brain. All right, great. Okay, well, thanks for your help. I'll make call you tomorrow. When you, uh, what time are you thinking about going there tomorrow? Um, probably around 11. 11. Um, why don't you uh, text me or call me like an hour before you're going there? Okay. And that way I can be free for you. Okay. And then when you get on the roof, then you can just call me, and then I'll be able to answer the phone. Um, and then we'll, we'll go through it with you with the meter. And grab a, a small, like a, a little piece of thermostat wire, too. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe like, uh, maybe, you know, six inches long or, you know, longer. Right. Okay. A little bit longer than that. And then, um, and then what we'll do is, do you know if that has an economizer on it by chance? It does, yes. Do you have the PL6 jumper plug? Mm, no, I... No. Okay, so the PL6 jumper plug, that that's how to bypass the uh, the economizer. Okay. So that right there is uh, kind of nice to have. Um, that way, it'll shorten the, the troubleshooting by a whole lot. Okay, so I have a uh, I have a heat pump system, and uh, then I was uh, I was trying to hook up a. Uh, oh, this looks like a model thermostat. It's uh, MD1406. Is that is that a good? Okay. MD1416? 1406? Oh, I'm sorry. The model number of the thermostat supposed to start with RTH or TH. Is this a thermostat? It is, yeah. Oh, I see. RTH2300B1012. Alright, I got it. Thank you very much. Okay, so you have a heat pump system, right? Correct. How many wires are connected, were connected to your previous thermostat in one important question? Do you have a picture of your previous lighting by any chance? Um, I do, but not, I'm not there right now. I just wanted to call and ask you if this particular model thermostat would, uh, would normally, uh, uh, connect okay to a heat pump system. Yes, it is compatible with heat pumps, but I have a question, sir. Do you have a heat pump system, conventional heat pump, or do you have a heat pump with auxiliary heat? Do you have a second equipment for heat? Axillary heat, um, I, uh, no, the heat pump, I think it's all together, is that what you mean? Uh, yes, okay, so the heat pump is an equipment that has heating and cooling in the same, in the same Correct. yes, okay. uh-huh. However, sir, you don't have another equipment for heat, or do you? No, no, there's no other equipment. No other okay, yeah. so if you only have one heat pump controlling one heating system and one cooling system and nothing else, Okay, great. Now I notice there's a switch on the back. It says electronic or heat pump, and then it says gas or oil. Do you know anything? Do you know anything about that? Yes. So I switch yes. the switch. Switch goes to heat pump, correct? That is correct. Okay. Yes, okay. So okay. Um, normally, uh, do you know? Uh, do you know normally? Um, normally, when I turn it on to cool, it, it connects a circuit between the. Uh, the red wire, uh, 
the Y wire and the uh, the what is it the 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 green wire, the Y1 and the R and the orange, is that normally the connection that happens when um, the heat pump is in air conditioning mode? Well, the heat pump will be coming when you're coming for a cool search, will be, of course, the power source, which is the R terminal, the cooling transformer, which is RC, the compressor relay, which oh, is... Oh, excuse me, the RC? RC, did you say? And the R R C. Uh, oh, a jumper between R and RC? Uh, yes. Yes, I see that. So that, uh, yeah, RC is, why is, that, we need that jumper because yes. we have the internal That's heater. Right. Yeah, okay. In case, it, in case that you don't have a wire in particular for RC, then just leave the jumper because we need to power up this terminal too, okay? Okay, so I, I need that jumper on there because I don't have a, an external uh, uh, heater, is that correct? A secondary heater? You need And the RC terminal is the cooling transformer, so that's why we will need a jumper there. Oh, the, uh, the RC is for the cooling transformer. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, well, I think, uh, thanks. Any other question at the moment? Yeah. Then thank you very much for calling the City of Hollywood Home. Thank Have you. Bye-bye. Okay, so, this is running the show here. Um, so, hook this other one up here. So basically, it's working now.